So I want to talk about diet, not so much on the healthy side of it. I want to go over some of the ideas that a lot of these websites like Popular Science here are throwing out. Like this one, you should start eating bugs. Here's how. Hakuna Matata isn't the only thing you can learn from Timon and Pumbaa. You can see here they got a bowl full of bugs. Mm -mm. I'm sure all of you are saying, that looks tasty. The line must be drawn here. Now, the whole reason that I'm even going over this is because that's from the website Popular Science, that whole article that I was just breezing over about eating bugs. That's actually a newer article. And... I found that by going through their Twitter account here. This was posted May 31st, 2021, and it's got a very interesting headline here. People think beef is manly, and that's a big problem. It's got a picture of a guy there looking at a big, delicious pile of meat. It would probably taste quite, quite good after a little bit of time on the grill. And people are, of course, making fun of this, you can see this from Soylord9001 posting this meme of a NPC enjoying a gigantic bug. There really has been this push for getting rid of meat for a while. And the inflation, by the way, I don't know how many of you out there go and buy food and cook. I imagine a few of you don't just eat out all the time. And if you do, stop. It's not good to do that. Um, <laughs> The uh, the food the the price of meat has went up, especially throughout this inflation that's been going on. So you're paying more for it. But there's been this push to get people to eat bugs. It's time to time to ditch the meat. So I actually checked out this article. What are some of the reasons that I should quit eating meat besides it's manly or whatever? It's an older article. It came from 2019. I just want to let you know. But they reposted it May 31st, 2021. But it's old. But the reasons that you should give up beef are pretty stupid for this, but I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to think, you know, because there's this big push against toxic masculinity, which is basically all of masculinity. All of masculinity is toxic. That's basically what's been going on. So they want you to think beef is manly, and that's a big problem. We can't lower our meat consumption without rethinking masculinity. So now beef is potentially a part of, you know, toxic masculinity. Uh, and something else that they don't bother to put in the headline. What privilege. That's right. Eating meat is now racist. <laughs> what a story, Mark. And this comes after why do we think eating meat is masculine? Apparently, it's a risky business. I don't think anybody knew it was risky, you know, way back in the day. But but it, it's still not that. Like, as long as you're balancing yourself out, I think you'll be fine. There's worse things you could be eating, like bugs. Bugs are nasty. But, hey, you know, that's okay. We don't talk about that. Uh, this was on number three. Meat is a symbol of white male privilege. That's right. Uh, it's only for white dudes, basically, which is hilarious, uh, considering uh, I was just told the other day on Twitter that eating meat is also racist because uh, barbecue culture is only for black folk or something, and no one allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> like, I don't understand. So... Let me go over this reasoning for you because it's pretty stupid and goofy. But apparently, according to Carol Adams, a feminist vegan advocate and author of the book of The Sexual Politics of Meat, the myth that you need meat for strength is traceable to the intersection of colonialism, white supremacy, and masculinity. Now, it's, it's biased immediately. You ever met like a, a hardcore vegan advocate? You know what I'm saying? They use everything they can to try to push their battle. And I got to say, like, this is a pretty crazy reasoning. Goes on to talk about Europeans' values and how meat is 
a part of the aristocrat lifestyle and stuff like this. And it's like, well, do you think it won't be if we manage to regulate beef and meat down? Who do you think is still going to be eating beef and meat? Not you. The pleb, the commoner. No, the rich. They're going to be eating meat all the time. Part of a, a balanced diet. But you, my friends, you get the privilege of eating bug bowls. So, no, beef, beef is for everybody. Beef is for every man and woman, despite what they look like. But I got to say, this was one of the funnier ones that I've seen so far. Okay, saying that it's istophobic to eat meat. Okay, we'll, we'll see if this works. This might be where people draw the line. I can't wait for them to start like you're eating a steak dinner somewhere. <laughs> Racist. So, I, I mean, we've seen crazier things happen. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.